All right, what's cracking, big dogs? Welcome, bike, to the Fade the Public podcast. Today, what we got on right. tap for you? What you? What are you saying over there? Interrupting my fucking intro? What's oh, cracking, big dogs? Yeah, your glare is fine. You got like an upside down cross behind you. It's kind of freaky. Uh, we'll leave that though. Yeah, you're demonized. We're gonna do. Oh. You see that, right? Yeah, over, over his right shoulder. We're going to do a Dynasty startup draft today. A mock Dynasty startup draft from the start. Snacks, you are frozen. You look so dumb right now. It is fucking incredible. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're good. You're alive. We're going to do a, a mock draft, and we're going to play as one team. So us three together are going to pick from a position in which we have not chosen yet. We're going to randomize it, and we're doing this on the Fantasy Pros Draft Wizard platform. Completely free to use if you guys want to mess around and uh, and do some mocks yourself. I know Dynasty season is fucking off to a hot start. It's roaring. Everybody's trying to get into leagues, which also leads me to the point that if you want to join a league, we have over 30 Big Dogs Dynasty startups already running right now in our Discord channel. So if you're looking to get into an actual Dynasty League competitive league with other Big Dogs, we've laid out the groundwork for you the discord channel will be linked first thing in the description down there so looking to get into a startup that's how you do it if you're looking to just get some information for a startup you've come to the right place probably the wrong place but hopefully the right place we're gonna do that's the right place definitely the wrong place so we're gonna do a dynasty startup we're gonna randomize our spot in the draft we got the 12th spot not not are you fucking kidding me not too upset about that that so much i love that shit so much all right so there's gonna be a lot of arguments today i can already feel it we're gonna go two quarterbacks two running backs two wide receivers one tight end two flex spots we'll probably only do about 10 rounds so we just set the bench to five if you're doing a dynasty startup don't ever do them with defenses or kickers please we're just gonna we're gonna keep it nice and simple for you um and we will just start the draft just to uh to preface it's the three of us are drafting from one team and i have a feeling that i'm not going to agree with any of their choices so just a preface this is the fate of public podcast and we're here live and also just to preface (laughs) uh my name's nick that's snacks and and that's animal below me and uh, this if, this podcast is represented by the big dogs. Got if eat. you're new to the channel, subscribe. Please like. All right, and shut comment. the fuck up. The first round's almost done. All right. So off the board, <laughs> we had uh, a pretty absurd first round. Here's how it went. So they actually can't see the draft board. Only I can right now. Michael Thomas. Christian McCaffrey, Saquon Barkley, D Hop at 104, Alvin Kamara, Mahomes at 106, DJ Moore 107, Nick Chubb 108, Dalvin Cook 109, Tyree Kill 110, Zeke 111. I mean, we have to take Lamar Jackson with one of these picks. Yeah, of course. So we're we're on the turn, and basically, when you're on the turn here, you you know that there's going to be a lot of players that go off the board in between let's, this pick let's and the trade next it. pick. There's like 22 picks between now and our next one, or 24, or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, typically I'd probably try to trade this pick. We're not going to do any trades today. So let's trade this pick right now. So what I would what I would typically do here? Let, let's talk about our first pick. I think the first pick is a smash on Lamar Jackson, right? Lamar, yeah, yes. get it out of the way. That's Boom. confirmed. All three of us. Superflex. Yes. I haven't actually seen him drop out of the top five in any superflex startup so far. So we smash Lamar Jackson there. And um, we're typically, I mean, the, the the draft that we're going against right now, we're using like Dynasty League football and some expert rankings or whatever. So we're going to try to be as realistic as possible with this. But obviously, you got to work with us a little bit because they don't have this perfected, unfortunately. So we went Lamar Jackson, yeah. 112. We're, at, we're on the board at the 201. Can I throw something out before you spew, Max? Yeah. Well, let's see if we're on the same page. Let's go. Here. Let's hear it. I, I'm debating taking taking Kyler right here, too, or another quarterback. I have finally grown to learn that we should probably wait on receivers a little bit, even though there are a plethora of good ones. And my favorite running back is off the board already. So those are my initial thoughts. 
is doubling doubling down on our quarterback so, and setting. Summing that up, setting. you think we should take Kyler Murray? I'm going to disagree with you, and we should definitely just get our running back now. Get an elite running back while there's still one on the board. And I'm leaning Joe Mixon, but I'm open to suggestions. But I think the the pick has to be running back. I'm I'm in agreement with you there. I think if we go with quarterback here. We're gonna we're gonna like how our quarterbacks are set up. Yeah. We're gonna like how our quarterbacks are set up, but like with Superflex, it, it, we don't pick again for so long. Yeah. There's gonna, right. the next players. the next time we're on the board, there's gonna be no RB ones left, and I think you need to get your running backs pretty early in dynasty because the dip, like you said, with wide receivers, you can get starting wide receivers in the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth round of these dynasty yeah. drafts. But running backs, I mean, once you're in like the fourth round, basically none of them are actual starters anymore, and they all come with extreme risk. So I would definitely like to get my first running back here. I'm in agreement with you. I guess I probably stick with Mixon here. Hopefully, the Cincinnati offense is is much better with Jonah Williams coming back and Joe Burrow under center. Uh, I don't think there's really much of a difference here between like Mixon, Jacobs, and a couple other guys, but Mixon feels like a nice safe pick to kind of build the foundation of your team. So we'll go Lamar Jackson. We'll go Joe Mixon. Yep. I love it. I like that story. Don't hate. Don't hate. And I would trade Lamar Jackson probably week one, but that's just me. That is just you. Correct. I'd probably wait till week two, so it's 100% just you. <laughs> It was Mixon, Mixon or Jacobs would have been my two choices. That's why I said quarterback or running back. If we want to solidify it, Jonathan which, Taylor. I was going to throw that out there, but that's like a risky. Like, do you really want to be take honest him with there, you? But, if Lamar Jackson went off the board prior to the one twelve, I would have been. I would. I would have went doubled up. I would have went Mixon and Jacobs, or maybe yeah. even Mixon and Taylor. I wouldn't really. I would have went Mixon and Taylor. Yeah, I would have liked the double running back action here. Uh, so we had Joe Mixon, then Jacobs, Taylor, and then a big run of wide receivers, a big run of quarterbacks. Luckily, we got our one quarterback. I don't think it's a. I don't think it's a must to grab another quarterback right now. Um, no, I'll go. I'll I'll say straight off the rip. I see a lot of good value at running back still left there. Board, right. I wouldn't even be mad about doubling down on running back again here. I I think oh. one of these picks needs to be Miles Sanders, and oh, I see. I would bounce. I would go bounce back to Clyde Edwards Hilaire probably as my one two punch right there. The two running backs. Thoughts? Yeah, that's. that's I don't like either of those. Okay, well, I, I don't would... like Miles Sanders and Dynasty. I just don't like him. How? Why? Give us one reason. Just the running back by committee. I'm not going to waste an early round pick on a guy that's not the guy. Okay, how this... is he not the guy? He's not the guy. There's a, it's a who's, so who's the guy? It always will be. Who's the guy? I don't know. It's going to be him one week, then it's going to be Boston Scott. He was the then fucking... it might be my man, Carlos Hyde. He was a running back got... three last year over the last half of the season. Yards Corey last year. Clement. Season with, with three other running backs in there, and they're they're talking about bringing in, in Carlos Hyde, and that's really going to affect them for, for five, six years down the line? That's a little absurd. I just don't like it. I think uh, what, 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 what other like? running backs are, are available? What do you suggest? Uh, Sanders, other, I, I, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, Eckler. Well, I mean, you saw the board. I, sh I sent you the yeah. board. Eckler, Aaron Jones, DeAndre Swift, Kenyon Drake, Baker, Akers. I think th I think that might be our two best bets because at quarterback right now, I'm not looking at wide receiver. I'm still looking at quarterback and running back. Um, I want one wide receiver, I think, here. One running back, one wide receiver. We've got two picks. Well, if you look at the board, there's, I mean, any, guys Any interest in Kelsey here? What are you guys' thoughts on that? We just had George Kittle go off at 311. I don't, I don't hate it, but I'm just, I feel like there's value at tight end later. I, w I would probably lean towards saying no to Kelsey. Yeah, me, um, me too. I just wanted to gauge your guys' interest on yeah, it. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like 30. I not, you know, he's still got plenty, plenty good years left. That's not what I'm saying. But I, I am very much, very much down to double dip at running back. And have it's because all the wide receivers went off. Like typically, you'd be able to grab someone here at the 312 that. Uh, like Sutton would normally be here or EJ Brown would be here or something, but they went wide receiver early. Miles Sanders is a must draft here. Like there's, he doesn't fall past the 205 typically in dynasty startups anymore. He's in a good offense, good offense coordinator, great offensive line. I am I think he's the smash one to hit first. Yeah, so and we're going to we go Miles up. Sanders with, with our 312. I hate it, but all right. Yeah, you're so you're literally so wrong on that. It's it's disgusting. Then our second pick, I mean, quarterback wise, there's Wentz, Mayfield, Burrow, Rodgers, Matt Ryan, Stafford, DJ, Tua, Goff, Darnold, Locke. Wide receiver again. I just don't see any value there when all these running right. backs. We have to go running back. There's still like legit workhorse, like top eight running backs on the board. And yeah, I, I'm fine I, with that. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I think I'll Clyde. Flop. I'll flip flop. That's me. Clyde's the guy to me. I, I just think. That system where he is and coming in there like that and taking over right away. Yeah. And for your D will out, I don't think there's a better pick right there. I'll agree. Uh, Animal, do you have any 
any difference on, on? I mean, if we're gonna go running back, the only other guy I would even consider, may I would maybe Kareem Hunt, but like what at nope. the four hundred one? Fuck no. It's, it's too early. I know. That's what I'm saying. I, it's not that. Yeah, just, we're gonna draft like, Clyde there. Talent wise, I'd rather have Kareem Hunt over Clyde, but and I'd rather wait. I just don't like Clyde. I, I'm not a big, big, big Clyde Edwards Hilaire fan. Okay. So Everyone just loves him because he's on the Chiefs and he's with Pat Mahomes and Andy Reid. I get it. Thing. Obviously. That's a pretty big thing. We'll see. We'll wait and see. Listen, I'm not, I don't hate him. I'm just not like in love with him. So like now we have a team it. of Lamar Jackson as our quarterback one, Mixon, Miles Sanders, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. I think we have legitimate three RB ones right there, and we're we, we have a ton of youth. Like our entire team is young, and we're also with this lineup, we're about to be able to compete for a championship in year one, which makes it exciting. Easy. So yeah. now is when I probably all right, I'm, I'll, like I'll throw out what I would do here. Not a big run on receivers, only three. Uh, I was going to say, I'll be honest with you, what I would do right now is probably double down on receivers and go with one of these picks is going to be CeeDee Lamb for me. And one of these Gross. picks is going to be, it's between Ridley and, and Terry. Those That would be my choice. Um, what do you guys think? I would rather take Ridley and Terry instead of CeeDee. Snacks? At all. I will do disgusting things to get CD on my teams. I think CD's the the best of the three, or, or will be. He hasn't shown anything yet, but well, I like you know I like where he's at. Blasphemous. Uh, I if if I'm going me Ridley, I, there's some something about Ridley. I don't, I don't think it's all all there yet. Um, I would go Terry. I would go Terry and CD. That would be my two. I think Rick, so. We can all agree on Terry then, right? Wide receiver. I think we can all agree on Terry. All right, so we'll hit Terry yeah. at the five twelve. I feel good. We had a big run of quarterbacks go off the board too, and uh, let's dip back in the quarterback to just see what's going on. So there's Matt Ryan, Daniel Jones, Tua, Jared Goff, Drew Luck, Jimmy G, Kirk Cousins. I don't think this is a bad spot to take a young second quarterback. Honestly, um, I'd rather wait and get another skill guy, and then we can get a quarterback. I think our next pick. I don't know how much you could wait though. Dude, I don't, I don't a, think so either. I think we can wait. You just saw a big run. People aren't going to keep going quarterback. Why if not? If there's it's another a super big flex. one with twenty, picks if we go double wide receiver, we start the new trend. So now you'll see wide receiver. Are you are you willing to bet your life on that right now? Because if we don't look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven, six. eight, nine. There's nine teams out of twelve that only have one quarterback right now. If we right, skip, so look at. No, no, no. You, look, the 6-2 is guaranteed what do you mean, no, they're to take not. a wide receiver. Okay, it's a simulation. There's nothing guaranteed. Yeah, they don't give a shit. They'll go with I'm fucking eight. They don't have I, one yet. They're going to take one. Max, what's the mo what is the most in-depth position in the NFL, fantasy-wise? Wide receiver has the right. most receiver. Depth. And I think We just got a wide receiver. Our wide receiver won for the next decade. I, I'm of the belief right now that we should go QB. For me, for me, my top player on the board right now is C.D. Lamb. If we're not going to agree on C.D. here, then I would rather go quarterback. I don't disagree. I don't disagree on C.D. I just fear, I don't hate Akers either. I don't fear. I, I fear another run on quarterbacks. That's my only thing. Yeah. I don't, don't fear it, man. I'm telling. We start the new run. We dictate it. We go wide receiver, wide receiver, and then who else goes wide receiver? We could flip Lamar Jackson for a lower end QB one plus a 2021 first. Thoughts? We could. We I'll could talk do to that. I'd love to do that right now. Smash. I'll talk to Ray. Can't stop the feeling. I'll text him on the side. <laughs> is that, is that... Yeah, they have the Shermanators. <laughs> they have a ton of different fucking names and stuff in here. All right, so walk a flock of flame. We we got to make a pick here, guys. We're on the clock. Yeah. Um, so for me, well, I, I would say who, who do you guys even like at quarterback? I kind of like Tua here. Well, I would say Tua. I would say Tua. Gross. Unbiased. I. I Dang. Animal, you're going to pick the worst team when we do our next startup. I cannot no, I'm not. wait. You guys are going to pick so many rookies so early. I'm going to have so much proven talent already on my team. It's going to be disgusting. And you're going to trade away you all know. your rookie picks, right, too? You compete for third place in year I one might. and then relevant after. I might. That's That's literally how the... could you go to a – who else – what other quarterbacks are on the board? Time out. Time out. What was your strategy last year, proven talent over anything, right? Did you make the playoffs in the Go Fade Me fan Dynasty League? No. 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 But, but wait, are you going to make the It's coming. This year? It's things coming. happen. It's fantasy football. Yeah. Uh, okay. You either so draft a good team or you I, don't, cunt. You guys know where I stand. I would probably take Tua or Daniel Jones here, but I think both of you have wide receivers in mind, so why don't we compromise on one? Calvin Ridley. I would take C.D. Lamb over Calvin Ridley. C.D. is going to be a, a – Why? C.D. is going to be because a top I, five wide receiver in fantasy. More than Calvin Ridley's is. He's playing with a quarterback that is 25 years old as opposed to one that's 34, 35. He's in a better offense and a better system. I'm, make, I'm making the executive decision. We're going CD. 
Yeah, I'm in, I'm in agreement. And that's that's two NFC East players that I fucking despise, but I'm doing that for the betterment of our team. So, I don't know, why don't you stop? Why don't you swallow your pride, take the stick out of your ass, and realize we're trying to make this team as dominant as possible hey, animal, for the next decade. Good news. Not this year. Good news for you, though. Really good news. Wide receiver went next, I'm, right? I'm going to send you over the board. Yeah, your boy Calvin Ridley went next. He's still on the board. Okay. But, so but I'm, a bitch. I'm a little nervous to see what, what quarterbacks came off the board. No, this was a really good... Uh, Animal, was it good animal stonks are through the roof. The only quarterback that was taken was Tua, and it was <laughs> it was at the seven eleven. One pick right before. This is a ridiculous wow, board. Huge. Though. See, told you we start the new trend. Even though a lot of running backs look went. at look at the board though. Like Justin Jackson went at the seven oh seven. This is so fraudulent. <laughs> okay, I never know. There, dude, there's people out there like that. Kareem Hunt. Yeah, I guess you're no. No one's taking fucking Justin Jackson over Debo Justin over Jackson Debo Samuel. Man. Now we're looking we didn't take a quarterback, so we have to take at least one here. I honestly wouldn't Yeah, I agree. I love it. I'm so happy two is already off the board, we don't have to take him. <laughs> Bust. I I wouldn't be mad about taking two, although there is a couple guys that I really, really like. So my top guys right now on the board, I would say are at quarterback X, uh, I really I almost think we should take Kareem Hunt at, at one of these two picks. And then I love that. And then I really like Robert Woods there too. You don't like Woods there at, at the fucking eight hundred one? I don't. I don't hate Woods. I just. I really. I really think a quarterback should should absolutely be our our. Yeah, hey, I'm ready to take a quarterback. I mean, obviously, yeah. I said the first pick is going to be a quarterback. Oh, oh, oh. Well, well, then you said you said Woods and um and Kareem. So no, no, no. I was, I was saying skill was... player wise. Who do you guys want to take a quarterback? Oh, if we're doing it for me, it's it's quarterback, running back. That's what I would do okay. because I think later on down the yeah. line we we still find good youth at, at wide receiver. At wide receiver, agreed. Okay. All right, so are we uh, are we going to end up going with Daniel Jones here? Is that the pick uh, to make snacks happy? How, I don't hate how, it, but like who what who what other quarterback would you suggest? Like who else is on the board? Um, I think if it's six pick. point per passing touchdown, I would look at Matt Ryan. If it's four point, I would probably go with DJ. We have a beautiful future and in a, a win now team. So I'm Matt gonna take, Ryan. Is in the Matt most Ryan good. here? You're gonna take Matt Ryan. I'm gonna take DJ because if I am building a dynasty team, I want I would rather the guy that's ten years younger. Agree with you on that part, but I'm thinking of like we're trying to compete too. So like, give me Matt Ryan in the last of his you know yeah. his final years here. With Daniel Jones, we're still not entirely sure. You're right. You know? You're right. Yeah, um, we already have a young guy in Lamar. So. And it's a, it's a, you know what I I don't disagree actually I think we probably I'll break the tie here yeah and I'll go with Matt Ryan as well so Matt Ryan at the seven twelve so right now our lineup looks like Lamar Jackson Matt Ryan Joe Mixon Miles Sanders Terry and C D Lamb and then first flex is Clyde Edwards Hilaire this is a beautiful fucking team this really is a gorgeous fucking team All right. who would who you never would have thought we would be able to do this right I mean well, it's because we've overrode you every time <laughs> So think the Miles Sanders pick was no. at the fucking three twelve. Well, that's the most responsible pick we've ever made. Give me Allen Robinson. We didn't have that choice. He was already off the board. Wait, wait, wait. time out, time out, time out. You kidding? Right, yeah, he's the three ten. I'm looking on my phone. It's really small. Were you kidding or are you serious? He was I was serious. I would have rather have Allen Robinson. It's a really bad pick, but, he was, but either way, he was already he was off, the board. off the board. All right, so right now uh, we're looking at running backs, and I would say the top guys that we'd even consider are pretty much there's Kareem Hunt, Keyshawn Vaughn. Darius Geis. Oh. I'm not even going to name I, anyone else because I know Animal will be like, yeah, let's take fucking Darrell Henderson or some shit. It's got to be Kareem Hunt Carl. here. I like the, the – for Dynasty, I think the talent is still there. I don't know exactly how much work he gets with the Browns. It's most, mostly going to be receiving work, I think. But Pat, We have our running back set for yeah. a start on this year if we need it. Yeah. Kareem Hunt, depth. No interest Kareem in, in tight ends, I'm assuming? Has one. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. Not yet. To be nah, I still see good value on the board. Kareem Hunt would probably be my pick. He's 24 years old. He's got one year left in Cleveland, hopefully. Then he goes to a new team, and he's the workhorse again. Yeah. We know his talent. We've seen it. So why not take him take him here and have a three-headed monster? Whoever gets that chubb Kareem Hunt stack in Dynasty this year in startups is going to have a nasty fucking duo next year. All right, so we'll go with Kareem Hunt here as the 801. So he's our second flex, depending on who we end up taking afterwards. And now we're seeing a little bit of a quarterback run. They were seeing the tight end run. One, two, three. This is going better than I thought it would. Wow, Justin Herbert, good for you, buddy. That's terrible. Uh, at the nine twelve. All right, so my, I'm I'm gonna run through my thoughts real quickly at, at just all the players left. Uh, I feel like Teddy at nine twelve is is we we don't necessarily need him, but I think that's really fucking good value for dropping that late. I think he's gonna be. 
I think he's going to be fine, like a top 15 fantasy quarterback this year because he has such good yak weapons. We don't need him to make plays downfield, really. Running back. Yeah, dump off to C-Mac. Yeah, I'm really glad we went running back early because there's really nothing on here that I, I, I look at and, and get kind of appetized by. Wide receiver, I know Animal's going to hate this, but like at the 9-12, give me every fucking Hollywood Brown chair I could possibly get here. Uh, I'd rather have Christian Kirk. I don't, ha- I, I don't hate that either, but I would definitely rather have Brown. Me too. I'd rather have Christian Kirk, and I'd even rather have Deontay Johnson. I w- and it's early for oh, him, but that's... I'd rather have Deontay Johnson. I was going to say I, I wouldn't oh. actually hate going with a, a Hollywood slash Deontay Johnson back-to-back pick here to shore up a couple more young wide receivers. Right now, I kind of wanted to go tight end, though. I, but I, think, I don't think there's think value there's at tight end not, right now. There's, there's yeah. not. And there's value Outside of Austin Hooper. Hooper well, I think it here's not like a terrible pick. No. On the way back, on the way back, we might have a chance at at a Goddard, a Higby. So I don't think that's completely. I don't think we should. Go I like that. Higby, but I mean, we could still get. I, I don't want to take. I don't want to take Noah Fant because no. there's way too many mouths to feed. It's just there. The, the tier drop off. The tier was the tier drop off was big here. So I don't think there's a reason to go with tight end. So we're good at running I back. Think, we're good with tight end for now. Do you think double dip wide receiver? You want a double dip wide receiver and fade? Uh, I, I I like Teddy. I like Teddy, but I I can really get behind a Brown and Johnson duo right there. Okay. And having those four young wide receivers in in Terry, CD. I feel like Kirk uh, will be so much Deontay. more consistent than Hollywood. I, Hollywood was a argument. beast last year when he was on the field. Like he has legit like wide receiver one type upside. And he's he's also got a set plan at quarterback for the for the near future and it's a stack so I probably So does Christian should. Kirk with Kyler Murray. So why don't we just double down on those two? Why don't we go Brown and Kirk? Yeah. One, yeah, one upside one yeah, floor. Yeah, we could probably get Deontay Johnson later maybe. Yeah, we probably, right, we, we, I hate this Hollywood Brown pick though. I want to make sure everyone knows that. Good cuz you're going to sound like an idiot when Sanders and Hollywood are both fucking beasts this year. I actually yeah, don't hate Michael it? Pittman here. Uh, <laughs> how do you guys feel about that? You can't get you can't it. get past this guy, can you? No, I hate it. Okay. I'm not taking a guy that hasn't even touched on the field. Over oh my god, Ooh, animal! Test. You know why you're you're, you're so bad really at dynasty for a reason? Like, there's a reason your team is so bad. You would take Michael Pittman over Christian Kirk? I'm not saying that. There's a conversation. Be every time like someone takes a rookie, you go, "Oh, terrible pick." Because you just said, your analysis was that he hasn't touched the field yet. Like that's that's how you lose at all the young talent in dynasty by saying no, dumb I, shit like still, that. No, there's a young talent that I very much I very much like. It's just that. I'm not going to take a Pittman over. There's still so many guys on the board that I already know are good players. Okay, but you're you're also talking about a Michael Pittman that's going to be their number one in a year. If that, oh, when you they know f- that, no, of course not. But you. So what do you like know about just, Kirk? What do you know about Kirk that you're so sure exactly. about? Exactly. I mean, he's already established some some rapport with Murray. He's been on the team for so a year what? already. He's, he's been on the team for two years and he's had like five years. good fantasy games. Yeah, three years, even better. He's had like no good fantasy games. Yeah, you just hurt your argument there. Why'd you even say that? We'll see. I sent you the end of the season. Who has more points, Christian Kirk or Michael Pittman? I would, I would, first of all, I'd rather, I'd rather Brown over Kirk. So I think, I think me and Nick, we agree on that. And I'd, I'd rather Johnson over Kirk. So if we're going to go that way, Michael Pittman, I will probably agree with Animal. I would probably take one of those three guys, uh, or two of those three guys over him from where we are right now. But I love my. He's just on the board. Who is? Who? T Higgins. T H- yeah, no. That's an auto no. All right, so we're back on <laughs> we're back on the board. Deontay Johnson is available. Teddy is also available, and there's no other starting quarterbacks left, so I think we need to smash on Teddy B as our third. You know, long. I, I don't want to go in there with two starting quarterbacks. I, I that's a good point. We agree, Teddy B here. I'm with Teddy. Signed a five. I hate years. It, but yeah. He's their, he's their quarterback moving forward. So I, I would go Teddy and and then Deontay Johnson is still on the board. I think we need to keep piling up like high upside wide receiver youth depth there because we went really heavy with wide receivers in the begin or running backs in the beginning. Though, do we want to chance it and go past the tight ends here? What do you guys think? I'm okay with going past the tight ends here because I do think that we can get. Yeah, I feel like a starter in our next our next pick, like I say, you know, a Higby or something like that. Yeah. I, would, I wanted I would, Waller or Hooper, and they're gone. So like at this point, Waller's still on the board. No, he's not. No, he's not. Yeah. Okay. Listen, they're, they're Goddard, Higby, Gesicki, uh, Hayden Hurst, all guys that I would be okay if they fell to us as our starter and then just pile up some youth behind it. So you guys, we, we agree, Deontay Johnson? Yeah, that's 100% smash for me. Yeah, I love you. All right, Michael Pittman. Um, Michael Pittman it is. Let's get a tight end and fucking call oh, this shit. Yes, all right, so the only tight end that went off the board there was Dallas Goddard. Huge. 
So Higby's still on the board. I think he's probably the smash here, unless you guys like Hayden Hurst any better or Mike Kosicki. I actually don't hate Hayden Hurst at all. I don't either, and we have Matt Ryan, so that's kind of a nice stack. I don't Yeah. I don't know if I feel confident enough taking him over Higby though. Oh, fuck it. Let's go two tight ends. Snacks just well, two tight end set. Snacks just, just passed away. Snacks. I I apologize for everyone watching right now and seeing just a ridiculous feed. There he goes. All right, we're gonna finish this up without snacks because he's his internet is shitty as fuck. So I can. Okay, well we're gonna finish up. So stop. Don't leave Skype. Can't don't, hear me. Yeah, don't leave Skype. Don't leave Skype. Don't leave Skype. Just don't do anything. Don't leave. Just don't move. Don't, don't do anything. Don't do anything. The less you do, the more you do. So you want to you want to double down on tight ends here? I mean, who else would we go? I definitely get one tight end. Let's go. Let's go with one for sure. I I guess we would go Higby, right? I'm down for Higby or Hurst. You want to go Hurst? I would honestly rather have Hurst, even though it's more of a gamble. I'm with we that. Don't really Fuck know. it. Let's go Hurst. We want Hurst yeah, at the 13. I like it at the 13-12. I'll be on. I I would I would legitimately actually. Huh, I like Anthony Miller. I like uh, Michael Pittman Ew. a lot, and then I like uh, Michael Pittman also. I like Lavisca Chenault too. What about like a McCall Hardman? Is he on the board still? No, he's gone. Um, How do you like McCall Hardman and not Marquise Brown? Pat Mahomes. Yeah, but what about Lamar Jackson? Yeah. I mean, Pat Mahomes is a much better thrower. Wait, you can hear me now. Yeah, kind shut of. your mouth. Wait, shut your mouth. Shut, shut your, shut your mouth. You're you just, just coming say? off stupid. <laughs> go, go back to shutting your mouth. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah, I guess Pittman. Yeah, I wouldn't. We gotta go Pittman. We're gonna go with Pittman because that's the only rightful way to end this episode. Michael Pittman, yeah, motherfuckers. I'm a mushroom cloud laying motherfucker, motherfucker. Who do you lose, motherfucker? Hey. All right, our final lineup is Lamar Jackson, Matt Ryan at quarterback. Oh, we got an A minus, a 92 out of 100. Unbelievable. Damn. Yeah, I feel pretty good, to be honest Look with you. Us. I hate all the, the post draft grades and shit they give out, but I'm feeling good about this. Lamar Jackson, Matt Ryan, Joe Mixon, Miles Sanders, Terry McLaurin, CeeDee Lamb, Hayden Hurst, Clyde Edwards, Hilaire, Kareem Hunt, Hollywood Brown, the GOAT, Christian Kirk, Teddy Bridgewater, Deontay Johnson, and Michael Pittman, the second coming of the GOAT. Projected standings. Let's check it out. <laughs> Our team comes in uh, second place. That's so, that sounds about right. So we we are we legitimately built a contender right now in a team that is going to be a force for the future. Yeah. Yeah. So hey, listen, everyone is young as shit. Your startup, your startups coming up. Take a, take a, le a look and learn at how you draft from the, the twelve spot. Right. Basically, everything That's Animal it. said to do, do the opposite of it, and your team will be fucking beautiful. So we, we ended up with like a really young team. Outside of Matt Ryan, he's like our oldest player, and he's really, um, I mean, he's pretty actually fucking old. But for quarterbacks, he'll be around for another couple of years. So we'll be fine. It's a great pick, though. Top four or five. Yeah, so we didn't, I don't think we took any. Oh, yeah, we did take a uh, rookie. We had Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Anyway, okay, whatever. That That's it. That's, uh, that's the mock draft for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that shit. Make sure you're following us on Twitter. Uh, this is the Faith the Public Podcast, and we love you very, very much. Uh, we might try to fuck around and do an in-person episode next week. We'll see about that. We miss each other so much. Yeah. Mm. Not yeah. Good.